Welcome to the InSafe Safety Syringe System demonstration video. InSafe Safety Syringe System from Aztec Innovations is a comprehensive solution to the elimination of needle stick injuries in your surgery and is fully compliant with the latest national and EU regulations for the prevention of Sharps injuries. InSafe provides complete protection from the beginning of the procedure through to the disposal of the needle. The specially designed syringe protects the needle at all times and its partnering Sharps container removes the contaminated needle in complete safety. So let's take a look at what we have. The syringe system itself essentially consists of four parts. We have your in-safe syringe, we have the needle adapter, and for disposal, we have the Sharps container, and then the Sharps container base that goes with it. Taking a look at the base right now, if you'll see on the back side, we have four pads right here. Once you remove the plastic coverings, you expose the sticky adhesive surface, which you can then use to firmly stick this base down onto any given flat surface. Push down hard, and the base will be stuck in place. It's designed not to move once you do stick it down, so make sure you pick the right surface before pushing down. Once the base is firmly in place, you can then slide in the Sharps container, and we'll demonstrate that a little bit later on. Right now, let's go back to the syringe itself. The two prominent features of your in-safe syringe will be the locking mechanism and the protective sleeve. The locking mechanism, also known as the locking collar right here, between my thumb and forefinger, is designed to rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise as I'm showing you right now. At this point, when the arrows right here are aligned, it's in the locked position. In order to move the sleeve forward and backwards, we must first unlock by rotating clockwise about 30 degrees, and then we can slide the sleeve forward. Then we want to lock again by rotating anti-clockwise another 30 degrees. At this point, the arrows are once again aligned, meaning you're in the lock position. And as you can see, this sleeve is now firmly in place. In fact, you can push down hard or drop it from a height. It's not going to be moved. This is firmly in place. To then bring the sleeve back down, we essentially re repeat the process, but in reverse. We will re rotate clockwise again to unlock slide down and then rotate anti-clockwise to put it back in the lock position and once again you can see this is secure rather firmly all right so let's load a cartridge in order to load your anesthetic cartridge we want the sleeve to be in the forward position so as before we're going to rotate slide forward and then lock again the spring mechanism right ne right here needs to be pushed backwards and then we can load our cartridge any type of anesthetic cartridge can be used with your in-safe syringe and there's a wide range of options to cover all methods of aspiration. Once that's loaded we can then bring the sleeve back down and we want to lock it once more. At this point we're ready to load the needle. To do so we first must apply the adapter itself. Notice the needle adapter has a little hole right here. We want to make sure that lines up with the groove on top of your syringe. Once they do indeed line up, you then push down and you'll hear a little click. That means it's been firmly put in place. And you'll also see these grooves on either side. Once they're visible, it also means that it's right and correctly in place. Now we can actually apply the needle. Any type of needle can be fitted to your in-safe syringe. And once that's screwed in and the cover's removed, we want to keep both hands behind the syringe at all times for safety purposes. At this point, you're ready to administer your anesthetic. Keep in mind that the needle should really be protected at all times apart from when you're administering the anesthetic by putting the sleeve in the forward position. At this point, we're ready for disposal. Before we can dispose of the actual needle, let's make sure we know exactly how to actually secure the Sharps container. So let's take a look right here at a base that's already in place. This is fitted, as you can see, and isn't moving. To slide in the Sharps container, we essentially put it at about a 30 degree angle, starting from this position, before we then slide forward. We push it all the way back. There'll be a little bit of resistance, but once it goes all the way back, you'll hear a slight click, and the Grooves right here at front should be visible, which means that it really is firmly in place. And as you can see, it really isn't able to go anywhere except for a slight jiggle forward and backwards. At this point, we are ready to dispose of the actual needle. We want to make sure that the sleeve is in the forward position before we dispose. 
and then you simply push the sleeve forward and then we're going to rotate anti-clockwise about 30 degrees and then push the, the needle all the way forward until you hear a click. Once you hear that click, you're ready to remove and you'll see the needle is now gone and that's it. The idea is that this is supposed to be done one-handed as a means of reducing the risk of needle stick injuries. At this point, we are done with our syringe. Keep in mind that the Sharps container itself can hold approximately 150 used needles and is fully compliant with all national and EU regulations. Once it is ready for disposal, you can then go ahead and close the permanent lock right here. This blue thing is designed to lock permanently, so make sure once you close it, you mean to do so and you don't plan on using it again as once it closes, it will not open. Also at the back, we have an additional yellow closure for additional disposal. And when you are ready to then dispose of the entire container, we push down right here, at which point we can then slide out the container. And now you can get rid of it. Okay, so that's about it. Remember that before using your safety syringe system, please read the print instructions that are supplied with your InSafe syringe and visit www.insafedental.co.uk for further information. Thank you for watching the InSafe Safety Syringe System Demonstration Video.